You got it. Oh, uh, come on. <laughs> All right. So we're going to start with where blood comes into the heart. How about okay. that? Okay. Okay. Right. So on this model, we have the inferior and the superior vena cava. All right. Those are going to bring deoxygenated blood into the right atrium. Okay. If we open this up, this is the right ventricle. Blood will move from the right atrium through the tricuspid valve, this little white structure that you see right here, into the right ventricle. The strings that you see right, that are attached to that flap are the chordae tendineae. And the bumps in the muscle that are attached to the cords are the papillary muscles. Okay. Here we have the pulmonary semilunar valves. And those are going to come up the pulmonary trunk and they're going to split going back this way off to the right and the left lung. Okay. And then we're going to oxygenate the blood and it's going to come back through. You'll see them here. These four vessels, two from the right lung and two from the left lung, they're all going to converge over here on the left. All right. And oxygenated blood will flow into the left atrium, pass through the bicuspid valve into the left ventricle. And then if you tilt this a little bit and you look way back in there, I don't know if you can get a good shot of that or not, yeah. but the aortic semilunar valves are right here. And then you're going to come up, oxygenated blood to the rest of the body through the ascending aorta. This is the brachiocephalic artery. This is the left common carotid. And this is the left subclavian artery into the descending aorta. And specifically, this is thoracic because we're still in the thoracic cavity. Now, if you look at this model, there's a couple uh, extra things that we can get. Off of the aorta, even before we get to the arch, is the right coronary artery. And it's going to come around on the right side. If we look, there is a matching left coronary artery, but it's up underneath this vessel on our model. And it comes out right here, just this little section. The minute it forks, this part that runs down towards the apex is the anterior interventricular artery. This part that runs around the left side is the circumflex artery. Now, if I follow the anterior interventricular, I can come around and I can find the posterior interventricular artery. And I'm just shooting for arteries, not here. We're just talking about coronary arteries and we're about veins. But there are comparable veins for all arteries. Okay? Point of the heart is called the apex, where all the blood vessels attached to the heart is called the base. Uh -huh. the shiny outer coat is the epicardium. The muscly portion that you find in here. Myocardium, the shiny inner coat, endocardium. Is endocardium. This structure in between the two ventricles is the interventricular septum. And these little guys that kind of look like wings are the oracles. Oracle, okay, mm -hmm. the wings. I normally eat this five, right? <laughs> and I think that might be it. I think I got everything. I hope I did. And on these models, it's you're going to just take some of those and pin them. Well, these I'll probably, with all of the models, I'll probably use some form of tape. You can see the oracles here. The thing with this model is because it lifts completely front to back, mm -hmm. you got to be careful. Let's watch this. I took the top off, all right, and I flipped it over. And what if I put this on the test? Not that, this. This is the right. Left side. This is, which side is left and which side is right? Left. That is left yeah, and that is right. Skinny, fat. Uh huh. Skinny, oops, pardon me, skinny, fat. So this is the left side, which means that's the left ventricle. That's the right ventricle. That is part of the right, the, pardon me, the left atrium. That means that this was, what did you say that was? Aora. Mm -mm. It's on the right side. So pulmonary semilunar valves. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that would be the pulmonary trunk. But to you, it's 
looking the opposite in appearance because I took it off the top of this model. Now if I use this section, superior vena cava, right, right atrium, right. tricuspid valve, right. chordae tendine, right. papillary muscles, right side of the heart, so right ventricle. It's going to come up through this guy again, right, pulmonary semilunar valves, out the pulmonary trunk, splits, goes off to the lungs, comes back through these one, two, three, four vessels into the left side. These are the pulmonary veins. And they're going to bring blood back to the left atrium. And there's not a whole lot of left atrium to look at there. Bicuspid, papillary muscles, chordae tendine, left ventricle, aortic semilunar valves, aortic semilunar valves, aorta, brachiocephalic artery, left common carotid artery, left subclavian artery. And those are all the structures on this heart. Okay. Now, let's look at what blood vessels you can really see. This heart is not exceptionally good. And one of the reasons why is the right coronary artery looks very nice and it's accurate. But this anterior interventricular is not very good. It's not nearly as accurate as the other two models are. The circumflex is over here. You can't see the left coronary artery at all. So if I'm going to ask one of these, one of the things to remember is that the right and the left coronary arteries come directly off the aorta. This is a nice right coronary artery. The circumflex is okay. I probably would not do anterior or posterior interventricular or left coronary artery on this model. It's just not good enough. Um, come along and look at this guy. I don't like this one any better. This one gets worse instead of better. That's the best one for that anterior and posterior interventricular. This one, shoot, you don't even get the aortic arch. It's like, it just kind of <laughs> stops midstream here, all right? But I've got inferior and superior vena cava. I'm holding those with my hand. And I know the blood's gonna flow. We're gonna pop this open. Woo, scary looking in here. All right, we got the right atrium. This is a tricuspid valve, not very beautifully done. Corte tendine, you can barely see any papillary muscles. I wouldn't use this for a papillary model, muscle model, okay? The ventricle's going to contract, it's going to bring blood up, pulmonary semilunar valves, pulmonary trunk, that's going to split, and you'll notice they only split it in one direction. It's a bad model. All right. <clears throat> Off to the lungs, we come back through the one, two, three, four, open, two from the right, two from the left, All right. pulmonary veins, into the left atrium, <coughs> pardon me, bicuspid valve, again, chordae tendine, the papillary muscles look terrible in here. Aortic semilunar valve and out the aorta. Okay. Okay. This guy's just not that great. I bet you just don't use those. Well, <laughs> she one needs some. Definitely going to use. Fifty questions. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've got enough to do fifty questions with these. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs>